What's up guys? Before this video starts, I just want to let you know that I am now affiliated with SeatGeek. So if you use the code HENRIQUE in all caps, you will get 20% off your first order. So definitely use that if you can. It would mean a lot to me and it will help you guys as well. 20% off your first order. Enjoy the video. How's it going guys? We are back with another video here. And this is a video that I definitely needed to make because a lot of people were asking me, what is the best way to get your team started in HUD? So, my suggestion probably for anyone just starting, if you're not going to spend any money especially, uh, you got to play offline. So, what I suggest are mostly the HUD challenges, of course. I'll tell you which ones are probably the best. I mean, the EA Access challenges were very, very good. So, if you didn't do them, that's unfortunate because you, know, you got the, the collectibles, you got coins each game, and uh, you ended up getting a gold pack for this one. And then after you use the, ch the collectibles, you got a 30k pack, so which is very solid, obviously. That could definitely help your team out. But, um, yeah. Then, most of the other ones are really good, too. I mean, I, I would say probably the road tripping one's very good as well. As you can see, you get, you know, a solid amount of coins here, over a thousand. And you keep, you know, it goes up, obviously, each time. I mean, that's, you're getting over 2k for this one, so... Again, you have to have patience for these. I mean, it's not easy. Superstar is not easy to play on against the AI. I'm not going to lie, especially if you don't have a great team. But these are probably the best ways to get your team started. Um, again, I, I would suggest probably the road tripping one's a good one. Then, obviously, you know, the domination challenges are pretty good as well. Again, just it just requires patience, really, at the end of the day. This is locked. You have to do each one. Obviously, you guys won't have enough time during your EA Access trial to, you know, accomplish all these, but in general, when you have the game, as you can see, like, the, just this one right here, 1,000 coins, simple, that is solid, like, again, it's four minutes of periods, but you know what, that's okay, like, you're gonna get a solid amount of coins for playing, you, you gotta just imagine it's like a, a regular game, essentially, like an online game, but, you know, you're, you're pretty much gonna win, this is especially, especially the one on Rookie, come on, so yeah, these are all 1,000 coins, 1,200 then, and then finally... The final one's a bronze pack, which again, you can get gold players in, so not bad. I mean, these are really not that hard to do, I would say, Division 8 at least. And then you see this one's very similar. The coin total goes up, as you can see, 1,500 you can be getting. This only had semi-pro, another bronze pack. As you can see, I mean, these are these are solid challenges to do. I mean, this again, this one right here, 1,200. Like, that's, that's basically as much as you're going to get online. And it's going to be a shorter game, so and it'll be easier, obviously. 1500 you get more. So, like, again, this is so worth it. If, you know, obviously you can win those games, you're going to get a solid amount of coins in the end. So, you know, you got to, you know, be happy with that. I mean, these are a, really a good chunk of, of coins. And again, if you think about it, if you add it up, you're going to have probably at least 100k. If you do all of these, I'm talking, every, every single challenge. I mean, it'll take time, but you know what? At the end of the day, you'll have coins. And, uh, yeah, that, your team's going to be able to get started pretty, pretty easy, honestly. As long as you put the time in, uh, 2k for that. I mean, that's a silver pack's really not bad either. It's just, it's solid. These challenges are really solid. Um, again, again, most of the challenges are probably the best. A gold common player, like, that's that's not bad. Like, you, you gotta be happy with that. At that time, especially, you know, unless you spend money, it probably won't be as great, that player. But, you know, it's it's not bad. And then Division 1, finally. And the coin total is very high at this point. 2.5k you're going to be getting for some of these. Again, it's on Superstar, so it's very challenging, obviously. I'm not going to lie. But then you have the gold pack as a reward. So it's a grind in the end, but if you can do it, it's not bad at all. So also one other thing to keep in mind, I'll show you right now. So here's the other thing I want you guys to keep in mind, the player upgrade sets, these are very, very good as well, there's a cooldown on them, but if you have five uh, gold commons, you can turn it into one gold rare player, that's very, very good, I'm sorry, and even this, trade in any two gold rares, like, trade in like 280 overalls you think you're never going to use, you could potentially come out with Crosby, you know, that's the point that I'm making here, it's, it, it really could be solid, these sets, so... I would definitely try to do these if you guys have leftover cards that you're really not going to use because it's it's certainly worth it, in my opinion. I, I don't think I have any to put in a set right now, but if I did, again, it, it'd be worth it. L let me just see here. No, I really don't have any players that I don't need. I mean, I need all these players right now. My team's very, 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 very bad, but that's because I haven't really played enough offline stuff right now. So, again, that's pretty much it. The challenges are obviously huge. 
The trade-in sets are also huge. It's, there's a lot of ways you can go about this. I mean, there really, really are. Because unfortunately, competitive season is really not real right now. You can't really earn much from it. It's like you're getting like big packs or certain exclusive cards. You're not really getting much from playing competitive seasons. But at the end of the day, uh, there's some ways to start your team. Pretty solid. You can make a good amount of coins. You gotta put the time in. But um, yeah, I mean, also, there's another way, of course. And then finally, the oldest trick in the book, the 59th minute method. So, of course, this just requires you to know the prices, or not really the prices, but just typically what some of these cards are going for. So then if you see one that like goes very, very, very much so under the highest buy now, you know, you can buy it and, and make some profit off of it. So, again, it's it's very, very similar to like years previous, but I just always feel compelled to make these, these kind of videos. I mean, it's just, they can help somebody, and that's all I'm at. Even if it helps two people out of, you know, whoever, however many people watch this, video. I mean, it definitely means, I, I think, a lot, to be honest, to those people. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like. Subscribe if you are new here. Again, I'm trying to reach 7k as soon as possible. Uh, definitely share this video around. Share my channel around if you can. I would appreciate it very much. I really want to have success on YouTube this year and Twitch. But I appreciate all the people that have been watching my videos so far anyway, alright? So, I will see you guys in the next video.